Hey guys, in this video today, I am just going to show you guys a quick sublimation tutorial that I do on a coffee mug. So let's get started. I am working with a 12 ounce mug, so I did go ahead and whoops, go ahead and size this to nine and a half by four. And then um, I do do some slight, slight trimming around the edges. I will go ahead and print this here. I'll get my preferences set, make sure that it's set to landscape and my sublimation printer. I am not going to actually print it out here because I do already have it printed and ready to go for this video. I have gotten quite a few orders for these, so I am printing in multiples every time that I do. Here I do trim off just a little bit of the edges just so that it fits perfectly um, around the handles of the mug and the top and the bottom. If there is a little bit of overage on the top, I typically leave that as long as it's not white space, I will leave it because it does seem to press perfectly fine every time for me. I've never had an issue with it fading and it seems to um, bring the design all the way to the top and almost round it. I will go ahead and wrap it around, make sure that it is sized good. If I run into the handle at all, I will go ahead and trim a little more excess off. This seems to fit just perfectly. I do have my heat transfer tape typically just along the edge of my desk ready to go and I will apply three strips. I will pull this tightly. It is hard to see in the video, um, but I am pulling that design as tightly as I can to the mug before taping it and then getting it as tight as I can so that when it's pressing, there is no air pockets or any spots that won't get pressed evenly. My heat press is set for 395 degrees and 55 seconds. So I will go ahead and line up the end of the heat press pad with the end of my design on one end, and I will do that for the 55 seconds. After that, I will take it out and flip it so that the other end of the design has lines up perfectly with the end of the heat pad there and gets pressed for the 55 seconds as well. Um, the attachment does not go all the way around to the mug, so I just want to make sure that everything gets pressed evenly. After those two rounds, I will take it out and kind of just center it and do it for an additional 55 seconds, and then I will take it out and let it cool down completely before removing my um, sublimation paper and the tape, just so that the design doesn't move or have any ghosting at all. My heat press attachment does get very hot, so I am using a paper towel here um, when I am releasing and inserting my cups. So just make sure that you're using caution and testing that out before you are putting anything in or out of it and burn your fingers. Now that this is cooled, I will go ahead and peel the tape and paper off and check out our final design. I absolutely love, love, love the way these turned out and they've been super popular. So I will definitely be doing more and designs that are super similar. So stay tuned. Um, if you are not already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.